have you ever lost someone like someone so dear to you that you feel like they are with you every day every step of the way guys welcome back to my channel i still remain crystal ever your favorite if you are new here welcome make sure you like this video give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you are an og i'm already here to, to subscribe to my video like i don't know what you are waiting for to subscribe please make sure you subscribe drop your comment down and then subscribe to this channel <laughs> so guys this video is just story time let me just how will i put it now a body as in a, the, the weight of this body is like on a you block like i want to wear it off just i just want to wear it off to god god take control so this person i'm talking about hey god is someone so dear to me like she's she was my second mother our mother said uh, their side their last born so this is my auntie let me start with her name her name was loretta oh my god but i fondly call her auntie also my siblings uh, my siblings and my parents will understand because why i call her auntie also? because she have lived with us for quite a long time like i took her as my eldest my in fact my eldest because me i don't have eldest i'm the first i'm the first daughter so i was looking up to her me i'm not look up because no one i'm not maybe they be the mommy anything about elder um kanka so i was looking up to her but she had done something bad to me that one is by god auntie i forgive you wherever you <laughs> I say I forgive you wherever you are because 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 you are not also. So it happened that, hmm. guys, eh, you will not understand. Like anything that I can't collect from my parents, I will go directly to her and say, also, I need this, I need that, or I will even go to her house and stay let me not just go into details but i really miss Asha. sometimes i'll be like hey i wish you are still alive i wish you are here i wish you are this i wish you are that <laughs> if i remember like i want to go home to see my parents i'll be like what am i going home for okay if i see them see my in-laws that's all i'll start coming back and unfortunately for me where my auntie's shop was and where she lived was a close range with where my in-laws are staying so it's 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 like a wake-up call that this person that you always see here always stays here is no longer there so anytime I remember or uh, they ask me to go home or they have this or that, I'll say, <laughs> I beg, what am I going home for? Or what am I, you understand? Like, it's so terrible. I don't think I, uh, God, as in, I'm not going to miss somebody like that. But my own scenario, my own case is so difficult. Do you know why? She was the one that ate for my that represented my grandmother i was i was okay good good <laughs> the person that's supposed to eat that thing was doing shakara for me god punish devil okay for on there bossing get a tune eh? hey as in eh? that was, that's a story of another day i don't even want to talk about those people because yeah, anytime i remember you they usually spoil my day okay for thai room sama I just want to keep on smiling because I know that my auntie is in a better place. So the why I say that my own is kind of so difficult to forget is after my traditional wedding, I and my auntie we were busy planning for our wedding, especially the food and the drink. She said okay that she don't have 
the strength to cook for the to cook the food but she can she can take the job of the drink aspect i said ah okay well, no problem because although that was what i was thinking at initial time since she so she's she had a since she had sorry she's dead she, she <laughs> since she had a restaurant store so i was thinking that she would really want to handle the food and the drink but she said that she doesn't have the time so i said okay since you don't have the time she said she promised that she will handle the drinks i said okay perfect because i want her to participate in my wedding fully because from my mother she's the next one so I went to but then I was living in Enugu. I went to Port Harcourt because my husband stays here in Port Harcourt. So I came down here. I went to Aba to get some stuff for my wedding and so on and so forth. So I, we did our traditional wedding on December. So then we fixed our white wedding on April. I decided to go for the for whatever I need on the february because january things are kind of hard so i came down here i be i came up here up or down so i came here to buy the stuff that i needed for my white wedding so after the whole said and done when we are discussing on phone and uh, i think on friday on friday she called me on 9 10 11. on friday i'm not, I'm not more afraid or 11 or 9th or, or something she called me and she said she because she finally called me chi chi because she's the one that initiated that name chi chi she called me chi chi kepon how I have a kill tisa prepare maka your wedding have you finalized on the number are you finalized on the number of drinks and uh, which are which and like which are to go to which categories like stout, malt, um, life, all these things? I said, I want my husband, the guy, she wanted to discuss details on the phone, and I told her, Ah, Auntie, I beg, no, no waste your credit, that uh, I will come back on Sunday. I will come back on Sunday. She said, okay, perfect. Oh, thank you, Jesus. These people have off their gen. Oh. So they said that, okay, she said that she wanted us to discuss about the drink aspect. I said, ah, and say, babe, don't waste your air time that I will come back on Sunday. And on that Sunday that we will see if I come back early. If not, all the arrangement will start from Monday. We will discuss and finalize. We all agreed though. On Sunday. Okay, I told my I told my husband, uh see, 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 he said, okay, perfect. So oh, that's good and fine, blah 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 blah. I started making arrangements for my going back to Enugu. So when I was still on transit, like Dosha, I was already in Enugu. I called my sister to know if anybody is in the house. I noticed that she is in a bus or oh, keke i don't know and I, I don't i forgot to ask her and what came to my mind was ah if you where are you going she says she's going to the hospital hey like my mind i mean my heart cried the first thing that i asked her was is it mom she said no is it dad she said no then who is in the hospital she said my aunt hey i said okay was this serious is this serious she said not really you know my sister boy how will i how will i how will i define that as in she doesn't like to show expression or to use a word that you you will start panicking with her word, I said, okay, but that mention of hospital, ah, Obi man no quarter was in a bus, and I was like, can you drive faster so that I can reach home early, drop my bag, and go and visit her at the hospital? 
so when i when i went to my sister okay i want my my brother my brother my brother was already in the house and uh, we were discussing i think my brother we were we are discussing blah 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 then my sister came back my sister came back and i was asking her uh, how is my auntie's house she said uh she said uh, that she's getting better that they will discharge her on monday <laughs> and the second reason that i came back is because of my marriage course the cat kids called me and said that the marriage course will be on Sunday. I said, okay, so I'm not around, but I will make it in case. I'll, I'll just try and make it. So when my sister told me that she, they would discharge her on Monday, I said, ah, perfect. After going to marriage course, that Sunday that I came back, on Monday, I will rush in the morning to meet her and also be among those people that will take her home. So, I tried calling her line, but her line, it was my mom that picked up and uh, she said, uh, your auntie is sleeping, that you can't wake her up, blah, 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 blah. I said, okay. I wanted to go with around, I think around four. I think I said that she's going back. I said, ah. Let me follow you. Then, when I was preparing to go with her, my phone rang, and it was the cat kiss. He then said that I should start coming. That the, the person that will take me on marriage calls will be around by four four thirty. I said, Ah, what a coincidence! I said, Okay, oh, since uh, my auntie will be discharged on Monday, which I will definitely see her. This marriage calls, if you miss one, which means you are not going to register for your wedding so i said okay i decided to go to the marriage course on my way going down to where i was supposed to do my marriage course there was a very strange wind that blown that day like it was a forced wind my mind was not there like i don't know where it started but the wind met me and I felt that wind. I was like, maybe it's about to rain or something like that. So after my marriage course, blah, 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 blah. Around six, I started going home. Nobody called me. My parents didn't call. My brothers didn't call. When I, when I reached my street, I met my uncle and his uh, family with my... <laughs> so... Um... And he said, is that not to them? I already saw his car and I I stopped and said, ah, brother, are you guys back? How about my auntie? He, well, the question that he asked me, where did you went to? You know, because these are elders, they think that, although sir, they have not known that I already fixed my wedding. Where did you went? I said, sir, ha. I went for marriage course. She said, he said, okay. When I, I reached home, I saw my dad, I saw my mom. My mom was, because my mom was the one that stayed with her all through. It was only two days that she stayed in the hospital. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So I saw my mom, she was kind of weak because my mom, hey God, she can't hide or pretend about her expression or emotions. My brothers, my sister, they were kind of my own happiness is ah thank god though that my aunt is back at least she will stay with us for for some time before going back to her house i was like ah, why are all of you like this where's my auntie nobody talked nobody uh, i was like ah. i rushed to the room i didn't see anybody <laughs> i saw the bag that she normally takes with her i said ah, ah. or oh, does it mean that auntie is no was not discharged or was where where is she my sister just 
took me and said I should calm down and sit on the chair. When she said I should calm down, I said, I know something done happen, but I don't want to think about it. And uh, my mom, eh, like that woman, oh, there is one. Oh, that one, wow. Whether you are ready to take it or not, it's none of our business. Then my sister was trying to calm me down that I should take a seat before I do something drastic. And uh, my mom, the first thing that came out of her mouth was, your aunt is dead. I was trying to think like the meaning of dead in my head. Like the le I discussed it on Friday. I promised that I'm going to come back on Sunday. Petri agreed. Then, how? Then they started explaining that they, they, they were not expecting her to die, that she had recovered fully, blah, 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 all these things. Like, I thought they were joking on you know, in the midnight. The thing come enter my head. <sighs> like, I my hand, I'm going you will not take it you will not take it as anything at a point the thing will strike you more as if it was that time that you heard it clearly that was what happened to me in the midnight that was when my mother's word sank into me and i started crying god i cried so I cried I, like I cried like I was like oh my god so this is true who we who will now call me Chi Chi who will now call me all these names who will I go and meet at a restaurant or oh, all these kind of stops like I cried so bitterly. My mom wake up hearing my cry. Then she started crying also, and uh, she said, "Ah, stop doing this now. If you start crying now, what will I do?" But I don't want my mom to start crying or whatever. Um, I tried to control myself. So, so later on, we fixed her. We fixed they asked me when when you want your aunt to be buried since you have your wedding on April I said ah let's just bury her so you know so all the sadness will just go so that the next day we will be happy and then they fixed her she died on February 11th I can't forget that date and uh, they fixed her burial we went the only thing that i i was able to do for her is to sit with her on the ambulance back to her back to her hometown so when i went to the hospital when i went to the mortuary i was like jesus christ so i can't talk to you i can't hug you anymore i can't we can't we can't talk and guys yeah something happened i was like in my mind calling her auntie wake up now wake up now i remove these things wake up wake up but all was in vain and uh with our cups because that's the only thing I got to share back home then after her burial after the whole thing I can't just let her go I sat I sat on her grave started um, started doing my last discussion with her 
like i was like ah auntie you know that my wedding is coming up who will i start planning my wedding with like how would you do something like this to me like in my wildest dream i would never imagine that at this point that you just leave me like that with nobody <sighs> So fast forward to my wedding date. To be honest, all through my reception, I was I was looking around to know if I can if I can find something or someone that looks like that looks like her you know that will make me cheer up even if my parents is kind of busy my siblings is kind of busy at least she would have been there even if i'm not smiling she will come to me and say ah this is your deal that's a lighting up or something but she was not like she was not there Like on my wedding day, within me, I was semi happy. My mom, because of that, fall sick. She she was not able to participate fully on my wedding, and then all the wedding preparations, the budget, and everything got shortened down because of my auntie's burial, which me perfectly I understood. Because me, I can't even. I can't be selfish like that because let, let us very detailed and move on with our lives but it wasn't easy so after the whole thing after my whole wedding i came down i came here to put court because I came to leave me with my husband but it kept on striking me anytime i remember my auntie or they mention anything or hear about the name lorita or amaka oh my god I will start crying over and over and over again. So I I want to pour I want to just pour my emotions out to know if I can be free within me. So please you have lost your loved one or anyone or anyone close to you that we are able to you know bottle up things and then move up move on with your life i would like to know your experience in the comment session so i'm kind of free right now <laughs> i'm kind of free well anytime i remember that my okay, i'm kind of free and i thank god for doing this video to pour out my heart and how I feel. <sighs> As well, I will just end everything here. Thank you guys for watching. <sighs> I pray I'll be all right. Last, last, this is the second year of her death. I just pray I'll be alright, that's all. And I know that we got our be. So guys, don't forget to subscribe, give me a thumbs up and then drop your comments down below. If you have anything that you would like me to to film, I will gladly do it. Just drop it in the comment section also. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram with the name Krista Eva, my business page, DBC Creations. So let me advertise my product. So this dress is one of my collections. So you can see that it have a very sexy detail here. So here is the full picture of this dress that I'm putting on. And then I will drop the link of where you can shop it in the description box. I will also drop my business Instagram name in case if you want to check my products out on Instagram. I have so many of what you will like so cha cha